All right, before I even start the video, there's something I'm going to address. I don't know if any of the other YouTubers mentioned here are going to talk about this or address this, but I'm going to talk about it. This is how not to be a fan of anyone. You know how some YouTubers are always having to tell their fans not to go around trying to harass people because it's some goobers that actually do that? Well, I have happened to run into one of said goobers. So I woke up from like a three hour nap and decided let me open Twitter and see what buffoonery is going on over there. And I happened to see this tweet. Look at all these amateurs and how many videos they need to make to capture half of what my goat, the generosity, has accomplished. I swear, these degenerosity clones need to be stopped. And then we were tagged. And this picture is me, JP Talk Too Much, Jeffrey Blessed, One Cloud Nine, uh, King of Failing, Grimy. And my boy World of John. Now, if I ever blow up and I see any of my subscribers doing something, I'm immediately gonna tell you to chill out, bro. Cause this ain't cool. I'm pretty sure all of us that are mentioned here probably watch the generosity. And we're all happy that he's grown so much and is making money. That's no reason to bash us who are either inspired by or just making the same type of content as the generosity, bro. But he goes on to tweet. Anyone who tries to copy the generosity style of videos are a bunch of clowns. There can only be one. Get a life. Look bro, if you want people to not watch your favorite YouTuber, this is how you go about it. This is how you push others away from checking out your favorite creators because they're gonna think most fans are like is you. Even serious? though I promise you majority of the generosity's fans are not like this. I hope. But yeah dude, if you're seeing this video, Stop. Stop it. The generosity might be too big to, to notice you or tell you this now, but I'm going to tell you. Chill out. Trying to gatekeep success, it's not cool. Nobody's going to think you're amazing for doing it. Most people are going to think you're lame. So just chill out and accept the fact that multiple people make the same type of content. But yeah, I'm going to be tagging everyone that was mentioned in this video in the comments. And if you want to go subscribe to them, make them even more money, Bet that up, be my guest, bro. Yeah. Especially since what I'm about to talk about and tell you guys about might get in the way of that. And if you do enjoy the generosity style of videos, bro, here's a here's a good list of a couple of people that makes around the same content. Hey, go go watch them and have a good laugh. So yeah, putting this matter down, I'm gonna explain to you guys what what is going on right now. There's a Supreme Court case that is pending right now that has a potential to ruin the internet for everyone. I don't usually do any sort of new. Well, I mean, unless it's some buffoonery going on on twitter but yeah there's a supreme court case that is pending right now that has the potential to change the internet as we know it it might be a landmark case i'm literally just going to explain this to you guys in layman's terms because i had to watch a couple of videos you know to, to get what i need to get to you know make it simpler for people to get it i've watched philip defranco speak Beautiful about this bastard. legal legal and a couple other people i also decided to read about the case myself and do my own research to know that I get the right information and knowledge, knowledge. To, you know, simplify this because it also affects me as a small YouTuber. So Gonzalez v. Google has the potential to become a landmark case in the internet's history. For those of you who failed civics classes, I'm going to let you know what <laughs> a landmark case is. Basically, a landmark case is a Supreme Court case that has historical significance. Think Roe v. Wade or Miranda v. Arizona, which gave us our Miranda rights. That's what they're called. Knowledge. So yeah, we're looking at something big right now. All right, so basically what happened was in November 2015, right? Noemi Gonzalez, who was studying in Paris, went out to a cafe to, you know, eat with her friends. Because of a coordinated terrorist attack by ISIS, a gunman walked into the cafe and I'm opened fire, I'm to which Noemi Gonzalez was one of the casualties. Now, ISIS claimed responsibility for the attacks, and 20 men were arrested, and only one was sentenced to life in prison. But the Gonzalez family wasn't happy with that result because they say YouTube should also be held liable. Why? Well, they say YouTube pushes violent content out to people who watches it, and because of YouTube's algorithm, it's just gonna keep recommending more of that type of video, to which will somehow persuade the person that's watching those YouTube videos to go and commit these terrorist acts. Now, before you say anything, know that ISIS has videos on YouTube, but because they don't, you know, they don't scratch YouTube's guidelines or, you know, violate them, YouTube can't do anything about it. YouTube can't just shut them down because 
they're ISIS. Unless it's violating their guidelines, there's not much they can do. And this is why the Gonzalez family decided to sue Google and bring Section 230 to the Supreme Court because they feel like Google should be liable for pushing out that content. And that's where Section 230 comes in. Basically, what this thing does is it protects YouTube and any major platforms from taking liability for what the users post. And that's why we have guidelines on YouTube because again, there's only so much they can monitor and regulate. Hence why with these stupid YouTube guidelines, you can't curse so much anymore and it's getting tighter and tighter. Because one, they want to look good for advertisers and two, even though they are protected by section 230, they had a feeling something like this might come up and it's here. Now after all this, I bet you're wondering, bro JP, what, what are you talking about? Why are you talking about this to us? Well, if section 230 gets repealed, <laughs> the smaller creators are gonna suffer the most. Because if social medias are starting to be held liable by what their users post, they're gonna have to place stricter and stricter regulations on said social media, which includes recommendation and pushing videos out to people because now they can't do that. They, they don't wanna take that risk. Unless you wanna lose millions of dollars because of what one stupid person said. Those big YouTubers who already have a following who's gonna see their videos no matter what, they're not gonna be affected by this too much. Me and a bunch of smaller YouTubers that I talked about in the beginning are the people who are gonna be affected because again, our videos will not be pushed out because of the stricter regulations on recommendations. Hey yo, that's a bar right there. So yeah, we're kind of fucked if section 230 gets repealed. The Gonzalez family actually tried to bring this court case, you know, to some lower courts, but the case was dismissed until it ended up to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court consisting of old people who probably don't even know how to open the settings on their Android is in charge of making a decision that could completely change how the internet is used. So yeah, that's what's going on right now. The fate of okay, the entire the internet is in the hands of <laughs> internet illiterate old people. <laughs> May God bless us all. <laughs> hey bro, could you imagine being the person that ruins the internet for everyone? <laughs> Bye.